All right, so we need uh, one of these pieces. We have that. Uh, one of these pieces. We have that too. But I don't have this flat piece. Hello guys, I'm Cal, and welcome to Chris J Films. Uh, actually, I'm not even supposed to be in here right now, but I just wanted to do something. So, I'm a puppet, and uh, Chris is my master, so after living with him for over 14 years, give or take, I would like to do something funny that I've always wanted to do, and he was never on YouTube, so now I can finally do it! Hooray! <laughs> That's a cow pun. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. This is Chris. <laughs> there. Comment, like, share, subscribe. That's all I have to say about it. Cal? Why is he on my YouTube? I, I've told you millions of times never to go on my YouTube! Hi, this is Chris J. Films, back for another book review. This is See and Spy Counting. Um, this is a good one for your kids. It has little riddles for them to find, like, how many spots does the cow have. You know, it's kind of childish, but I like it. You know, this is something that I used to read a lot as a kid, you know. So it kind of has some nostalgic value to me. All, and that's mainly the reason why I'm doing all these Baby Einstein reviews, because they have nostalgic value to me. Um, yeah, that's why I really like these. But yeah, this is just a cute little one, some pretty pictures, all that. You know, these are all from drawings that Ju Julie Agner made. You know, these are all really good. I like this one a lot, and I think your kids will too. And then they have that big picture at the end. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Eating eggshells. Mm. Perfect.
Do not try at home. Ugh. 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 So this morning when I was walking to school, I accidentally slipped on this patch of ice right here. It's standing across the whole tunnel. Um, it wasn't very fun. I got a bad hand cut because of it. Um, and all I can say is I hope it doesn't happen again. Ah!
Good evening, friends. 
I am here to tell you about suicide on a plate. You take some cheese, you microwave it for about, um, maybe like a minute and, no, about a year. You get it just greasy, so greasy. I can feel my, I can feel my body just killing me right now. It's, it's great. So we're just gonna curl this up into a big greasy ball. Oh yeah, look at that grease just drip it on the plate. And we're gonna eat it. Mmm. Then you just gotta soak it up. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Well, I did call it suicide on a plate. Yeah, so this is my house now. Oh, it looks really nice, man. I am happy that I got a nice purchase. Yeah, so if you're a roommate, you're looking for a roommate, so... Uh, yeah, um, as long as you have like a, an, an extra bedroom and a bathroom for me, should be alright. Uh, I just want that to be my own space. Other than that, we can share a lot of stuff. What's that over there? Oh, that's the neighbor's little library. <laughs> they keep a lot of cookbooks in it. Cookbooks? I think they did a good job in the oven. How does this work? Well, all you gotta do is take a book, and then when you're done, you put it back or replace it with a better one. Oh, they got some pretty good recipes in here, man. Yeah. We might have to borrow this sometime. <laughs> yeah, feel free. Um, so I wanted to, uh, to talk about the shrubs, because they look a little, uh, you know, yeah, they, everywhere. They are a bit out of control. They do need to be cut in some. Yeah, like this one over here specifically, I, we could get someone hire them to, you know, cut it down a little more maybe. I don't know. Do we really need to hire someone? Like, I do have a cutter in the back. Okay. I can do it myself. Well, how long would that take us, you think? Uh, set, uh, <sighs> see that? Where was that? What the? Good evening. One of the most prolific filmmakers of this age, or perhaps of any age, is Sir Edward Ross. He is back in his native country for the first time in five years to showcase his new set of films at the National Film Theater. We are fortunate enough to have him with us tonight, Sir Edward Ross. Good evening. Edward. You don't mind if I call you Edward, do you? Edward is just fine. Oh, good, because it does seem to worry some people. I'm not sure why, but it's rather good precaution to take that yes. initiative on these sort of occasions. Yes, Edward is just fine. A silly little point that makes it rather difficult to establish a rapport between us. Yes, yes, quite. Good. Uh, now, Ted, the idea of time You don't mind if I call you Ted, do you? Yeah, I get called Ted all the time. Well, of course, it's shorter. Yes, yes it is. And less formal. Yes, it is. Good. Um, likewise, I would appreciate for you to call me Tom. No need to mess around with all this Thomas business. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, Eddie Baby, of all your latest ideas... Oh, no. no, not Eddie Baby. No. Oh, did no. I call you Eddie Baby? Yes, you did call me Eddie Baby. Well, I didn't call you Eddie Baby. Yes, you did. Did call I Eddie call Baby. him Eddie Baby? Yes. I didn't mean to call you Eddie Baby, sweetie. It just... Uh, uh, no. No, sweetie. No, sweetie. A sugar plum? No. Pussycat? No. Angel drawers? No. But may 
I call you Frank. Why Frank? Oh, well, it's a rather nice name. Uh, Richard Nixon's got a hedgehog named Frank. Frank what is going on? Frank! Man. Franny. Franny Poo! No, I, no, I'm leaving. I can't handle this. I know where to Tell us take about your game. latest film, Sir Edward. What? Tell us about your latest film. None of this pussycat nonsense? Uh, no, Sir Edward. I promise. Oh, please, take a seat. Uh, well, the idea for this film came back when I had just first joined the industry in 1990. Now, back then I was just a tea boy, and all I did was serve the directors that were around at that time. But the directors that were around in the 19s and 20s were like the most prolific people I've ever seen. They were like so passionate about their work, and they could do whatever they want. Like, I want that to come back. I want to do whatever I want as a film director. I mean, that would just be so much oh, fun. Oh, shut up! Last week, the Royal Festival Hall saw the first performance of a new symphony by the world's leading modern composer, Mr. Arthur Two Sheds Jackson. Mr. Jackson. Good evening. Now, let me sidetrack just a bit. Uh, where did you get this nickname of Two Sheds from? Ah, uh, yes. Well, uh, ju just some friends call me Two Sheds, so that's really all there is to it. Yes, but do you indeed have two sheds? No, no. I, I, I only have one shed, but a few years ago I was just thinking of getting a second shed, so a lot of people call me two sheds. So does this mean that you will indeed have two sheds? No. No, no. I actually hate the original shed. I'm, I'm going to get rid of it. So uh, you're telling me that you will one day be called Sir Arthur No Sheds Jackson. Would you just forget about the shed? Everybody talks about the shed. I want to get rid of it. Well, all right, all right. To get back to your symphony talk. Yeah. So you wrote the symphony in the shed, correct? No! It's just an ordinary garden shed! Oh, I see, I see. And the second shed you will get is where you will write the symphony. No! No! Why? Just forget about the sheds! Everybody asks about the sheds! They got it all out of proportion! I don't right. the shed! Get back to the symphony talk. Now, you have written the symphony for the timpani and organ. What is that? What? What? It's a shed! Get it off! Fine, fine, fine. Now, I believe that you are very interested in train spotting. What? Well, it's just that about uh, 30 years ago, you said that you were very interested in train spotting. What does that have to do with my fucking music? Hey! Is this guy giving you trouble? Yes, he is. Good lord! You're the interviewer who interviewed Sir Edward Ross. Oh. Are you not? Yes, I am. Uh, us interviewers gotta stay together, of course. Yeah, this makes perfect sense. Well, it is time, sir. No sheds, two shoes, said Miguel Cuddy. To get off this stage, there is no space for the three of us. Ah! What are you doing? What are you doing? One, ah! two, no, 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 no. three. Get your own arts program. Arthur Two Sheds Jackson. Jingle ball, jingle ball, jingle ball cock. Jingle ball swing and jingle ball ring. Christmas is awesome and Christmas is great. But first let me masturbate. Jingle ball, jingle ball, jingle ball cock. Jingle ball chime in jingle ball time. Red and green are such a lovely hue. But ball should not be blue. What a right time in the night time to fuck the night away. Jingle ball time is the best time to go fucking in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. Jingle around the clock. 
But first let me beat my stick of meat That's the jingle ball cock Jingle ball, jingle ball, jingle ball cock Jingle ball chime in jingle ball time Red and green are such a lovely hue But balls should not be blue what a right time in the night time We're gonna fuck the night away Jingle ball time is the best time To go fucking in a white horse Say oh giddy up and jingle horse And pick up your feet Jingle around the clock But first let me beat on my stick of meat that's the jingle ball, that's the jingle ball, that's the jingle ball cock game. Woo! Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> keep that in. I just left the store, and I saw them. They're back! The Girl Scouts! They coax you in with those little happy smiles to drag out your wallet and hand over the money for the tag-alongs and lemonades and thin mints. And then when you leave after your money's all been spent, they drop their little girly girl facades and they laugh at our stupidity! Don't buy into it! Don't buy into it! Hi everybody, welcome back to Cafe. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to be doing some gaming. Yeah, we're going to play um, the new Spaces Key on Cool Math Games. Um, it's funny, I, I looked on this because I haven't played it in a while. You know, the school computers banned it last year. Um, so I looked back at here just for some nostalgia. I'm like, hey, a new Spaces Key. That was my favorite game. So, um, yeah, we're just going to play. Ooh, I like that music. All right. New game. Let's go. Oops. Let's jump. All right, let's do this. Ooh, that's good. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. All right, this is okay. I don't know why. I... Damn it! 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 Fuck! Oh god! What? Come on! Motherfucker! What the fuck is this? Why can't I get past? Mm. What the fuck? All right. Damn it! Shit! You gotta be. 
be shitting me? How am I failing at this? Okay. Fuck. What the fuck? I've already died like 70 times. What the fuck? Jesus Christ! Okay. Just get... Just get... Just get! God damn it! Oh shit! 100 dies!
Yeah! Welcome back to Chris Tries Stuff. Today we are trying probably the worst thing I've ever tried on this show, literal cancer. This is a makeshift burger made out of blood from the bags at uh, Wendy's because of course we all only use fresh burger patties. So this is a complete travesty of a thing. I mean, look at that shit. Um, so I have it on a burger bun here, and I'm just going to top it off, and uh, let's try this absolute nightmare. This is going straight in the trash, and I am going to the bathroom to throw up. This has been Chris Try Stuff, and fuck you. Taste, 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 just, just shove it in your face. face. It's Chris Try Stuff. Uh. Everybody. Welcome back to the Cafe uh, New Year's Eve Festivus. Um, tonight, this is a special. New Year's yes. Eve special. We got pizza. We got ice cream. We left the soda upstairs because I don't know why. And we got Cards Against Humanity. And the fun part is we can't be loud. But we also got Mambo's. It's not mambo, it's a mambo. Mambo, whatever. The fun part is we can't be loud, otherwise we'll wake up my parents who are sleeping because they're too tired to stay up for the festivities. So, we all know how this works. We're gonna open up the box. We're gonna take out the black guys, I mean cards. I don't know how to play this game. You don't know? I've never played Cards Against Humanity. It's so well, easy. Actually, I think I probably have. Maybe. Have you ever played... Uh, oh, yeah, that was when I played Poker with the Pasture. You played Poker with a Pasture? Yeah! Fuck. Yeah, with the sun and stuff. Like, he won. The, the Pasture won. Nice. 
I got my ass kicked by a man who worships God literally for a job <laughs> in poker. You're going to let's have you go first. Take a black card. Take a black card. How do we play this with two people? We just put put down a card and then we read and we read it. White people like. And then we both put down a white card. So it's, we're just playing with two people, folks. Two people. So put down your best white card. Well, the best white card is probably the one that's all white. But there isn't one. So, I don't, I don't know. I, I... You fucking cut. Alright, so we're even. Like, read it like dead white people like. And white then people like. I don't even know what my card meant. <laughs> so this is gonna be a good one. White people like dead parents. <laughs> <laughs> my parents aren't dead. Can we get a better one? Yeah. Just no one wins then. <laughs> All right. What is George W. Bush thinking about right now? I don't know which president he is, so maybe that one. Dumb shit. I don't know. <laughs> what was he alive during? He was alive during 9-11, you fuck. Oh, he was the 9-11 guy! Yes. Yeah, mine doesn't make much sense, then. Uh, well, what is George W. Bush thinking about right now? The American Dream. What's that? You don't... Isn't that the one where you get rich by doing nothing? That's communism! You don't get rich in communism. No one gets rich. Everyone's <laughs> poor. Everyone's equal, Chris. Yeah. Do you want to be equal? I sure as hell don't want to be equal with you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you sack of shit. What is George W. Bush thinking about right now? The Great Depression. What? I don't know. I thought that he was that guy. No. No. Like, George Washington. He was alive during the beginning. You're sounding more and more like Nick right now. I don't know my ge geology. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dumbass. Mm -hmm. Life for American Indians was forever changed when the white men introduced them to Nazis. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> You're what would dark. the Indi wait? What would the Indians do to Nazis? I mean, what would the Nazis do to Indians? Nothing. Or like they'd probably treat them like Jews. No, nothing can be as bad as Jews. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! Instead of coal, Santa now gives the bad ch children my relationship status. <laughs> I mean, like, so, Santa just gives a list. It's like, oh yeah, this guy you've never met before is single currently. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of coal, Santa now gives the bad children forced sterilization. <laughs> like, Nick. I think Nick should be forced to be sterilized. We don't want that shit in the gene pool. <laughs> Some people sh deserve to have their dick cut off. Like, I don't know if I want another mini-me walking around. If that someday happens, I'm sorry for this goddamn world. Like you, Chris. Your balls? Chopped off. Uh-uh. Mini Chris? Well, I don't know if it would be mini but you. still, another Chris. Uh -uh. Some people shouldn't have the right to vote. Like women, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one's the 13th Amendment? That is the women's right to vote one. No, right? 19th Amendment. Damn it! <laughs> I was about to make a joke like, yeah, that's why it's some lucky 13. <laughs> Do you want to know what the 13th Amendment is? What one? No more slavery. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't, wait, where did I put my 
remember Syria again? That's like Africa, right? I don't know where it is. I... See, that's my problem. I don't know my zool z geology. Zoology? Shut up. I'm not a zoologist, dude. I don't know what that means. It's zoo. Shut up. Allergy. Yeah, I said geology after I corrected myself. I was thinking about, like, the New Zealand, dude. <laughs> no sexy Australia. You know, like... Mr. Hamilton up in the skies, but he's not in the sky, he's actually just that way. You were dropped as a child, weren't you? No, Nick was though. He told me about it. <laughs> that explains a lot. 50% of all marriages end in what? Penal sex. 50% of all marriages end in my boss. Yeah, he is like the common movie trope, <laughs> where like the marriages end with the boss because your wife got fucked. Fifty <laughs> percent of all marriages end in an unwanted pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> I realized how fucked up that was after I pointed at you. <laughs> Yeah, it's very fucked up because my parents weren't married. I know! <laughs> I, I didn't even think about it before I pointed at you! <laughs> there are times I want to disembowel you with a wooden, wooden cooking spoon. Are there non-wooden spoons that aren't for cooking? Like just a wooden spoon? What the fuck is he on? <laughs> and so then. Retard. That's a good point. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. Your turn. Fuck face. Nope, that's a two card. Screw that. I'm not even reading it. Daddy, why is mommy crying? <laughs> why is mommy crying? Daddy, <laughs> why is mommy crying? Firing a rifle into the air while balls deep in a squealing hog. <laughs> Why is mommy crying because her balls are inside of a hog? Have you ever seen hentai? There are all sorts of women with penises. That is called Fuda and it's art. <laughs> no, it's real. I know it's real, but are they... Wait. <clears throat> Wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What it, like, are you a man or a woman if you have both a dick and a vagina? <laughs> Who's saying that you can't? I know you can, but what are you then? I mean, God? <coughs> Daddy, why is Mommy crying? Three dicks at the same time. It wasn't just Daddy in there. <laughs> Stepbrother was in there too. And Uncle Billy. <laughs> Just once, I'd like to hear you say, Thanks, Mom. Thanks for not wearing pants. Yeah, like... Incest is pog! <laughs> yeah, like... You know how hard it is having a boner with a 35-foot-long dick? Mom's not it. Hitler got a sex change and became your mommy. <laughs> but my dad was the guy who killed Hitler! <laughs> He got another sex change because he was unhappy. Did you, did you get the joke there? Hitler yeah, killed yes, himself. Yes, yes, of Hitler course. Hitler killed himself. Yeah, I oh, added on to the joke, you stupid psycho. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, you're not funny and I am. Cry. <laughs> when Pharaoh remained unmoved, Moses called down a... Huh? Who the hell is a Pharaoh? I don't know the, the Jesus. king of Egypt. But Moses is a god guy. I know. He's like the one who parted the Red Sea or some shit. Yeah, to get away from the Pharaoh. Are you that stupid? Or are you just stupid? I didn't read the Bible. But everybody knows the Moses story. I don't. He parted the Red Sea. I, that's all I know. Oh, there's also a really cool guy named Moses. He's Jamaican. He's a DJ. 
Your brain is like here, and I'm Jesus. No, I'm Jesus. <laughs> but if Jesus is here, why is Jesus... Jesus 3! <laughs> Jesus 3, this time he ain't fucking around! Yep, that's right. Last time he crashed into the Twin Towers. That's I love! <laughs> <laughs> My mommy texted me. Oh, Dougie loves his mommy. I do love my mommy. Wait, he loves her so much silence. he wants to fuck her pussy every night. Shut the fuck up. That's <laughs> wrong. Um, what is my superpower? Squirrel Girl! Shut up. That's a good superhero and you're wrong. <laughs> that is not a good superhero. I will stand by that's not a good superhero. It's a good superhero. She's a squirrel. But she's a girl. Girls are stupid. <laughs> no. Squirrels are cool. Squirrels are stupid and Squirrel. girls are stupid. Squirrel girl is hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but... Then look up some Squirrel Girl Rule 34. That's probably a thing. It will probably bring up Sandy Cheeks, dude. Have you ever seen the, the picture of Sandy Cheeks with just a massive I've, cock? And, of like, course I have. And Sandy, like, Sandy Cheeks just having a huge cock and Spongebob just slept inside? Of course I have. That's a lie because I made that up. There's a picture. No. There are really pictures are. of... I liked the episode in Spongebob where Squidward was a giant and Patrick slept in the belly button and Spongebob slept under his toenail. <laughs> See, now I know you're making up. That one I did make up. What? That's an episode of Spongebob with the little plant spray. It turned... Everything big, and he sprayed Squidward's nose, just like, oh no, I gotta fix it now, and he sprayed all of them, and he was just a huge, giant monster. That sounds like the dumbest plot to an episode ever. It's Spongebob. I know it's Spongebob, but they could do something smart. Imagine how much leverage you'd have if you just gave birth to an the Antichrist. Just like, yo, <laughs> you? Basically fucking Satan? Yeah. I birth you, bitch. <laughs> like, I'm your mom. I tell you what you do until you're 18. And just like, yo, go kill my fucking boss. And then he does. <laughs> With his god powers, he's just like, <laughs> lightning. In the new Disney Channel original movie, Hannah Montana struggles with blank for the first time. Anal sex. <laughs> In the new Disney Channel original movie, Hannah Montana struggles with vomiting seafood and bleeding anally for the first time. <laughs> you see, she's bleeding anally because of the anal sex. <laughs> In the new Disney Channel original movie, Hannah Montana struggles with a fetus for the first time. <laughs> she got a butt baby from the anal sex, dude! <laughs> My dad always called me a butt baby. And then I was like, wait, that means you had gay sex. And he's just like, no, you're not my kid. And I'm like, oh, okay, dad. And then he said, don't call me dad. And, and then I got kicked out of the house. And now you live with me. I'd kill myself. Mitch McConnell can't come without... Who's <laughs> <laughs> that guy again? He's like a political figure. Which side is he? He's the Republican leader of the Senate. Yep. Big word. <laughs> Mitch McConnell can't come without serfdom. You know what serfdom is? No. Serfdom is like uh, the peasants within um, uh, like medieval society. Oh, yeah. They're basically slaves. <laughs> <laughs> but they can be white or black. Wait, no. Most there were black people yeah. living in England back then. Yeah. That's why the theory about Beethoven being black wouldn't work, Internet. 
It wouldn't work. It was since when is this a theory? Since Who like, said that Beethoven was black? Since like July. People have been saying since like June or July that Beethoven's black. That just doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't. Mm, my bones are all crinkly. Kids, I don't need drugs to get high. I'm high on racially biased SAT <laughs> questions. You know what I would call a wheat farm if I had a wheat farm? You don't name wheat farms, dumbass. Wheat Germany. Multiple stab wounds. Bet you can't have just one. Because you have multiple. You can't have one if you have multiple. Just Me simple logic. Memes. Bet you can't have just one. I only have one and it's a good one. You can't look at a meme and say, okay, I'm done for the night. You That's what you do. You look at a good meme and then say, I'm done. You have to watch like a meme compilation. Why? Why would you, do you go on YouTube for your memes? Yes, I you go, go on, on YouTube 4chan. for like... You go on 4chan for your memes. What the fuck is 4chan? Okay, so basically, uh, in the middle of, uh, I'm pretty sure it was my ninth grade year, your 10th grade year, I just looked up lolly porn on Chris's phone. Hi, people. I'm watching you right now. Kill yourself. <laughs> Do it. You first, fuckface. Upload it to the internet. <laughs> Do it in front of a school to traumatize the millions of children. It's a pity that kids these days are all getting involved with child <laughs> beauty pageants. It really I is. mean, yeah. It yeah. really is a pity. And what's scary is it's the parents that are putting their kids in that situation. They're putting them in there with like these skimpy little swimsuits or whatever. Popular! Have you lost your virginity, Doug? Well, I did come out of my mom's vagina, but I never went back in. Alright, how did I lose my virginity? My vagina? Very true! How did I lose my virginity? Murder. Necrophilia. Sorry, Professor, but I couldn't complete my homework because of eight ounces of sweet Mexican black tar heroin. <laughs> Fuck. I'd be down. Just kidding. Never had any drugs in my life other than diabetes. Hey, weed. Loser. I'm not a loser. You're a loser. You have diabetes. And you're fat. <laughs> It wasn't really a dream, it turned into, an, into a nightmare very fast. Like, like the giant snake thing from like the tunnel there came out of her pussy and just ate me. TSA guidelines now pro prohibit judging everyone on airplanes. Boo. Shut up, bitch. TSA guidelines now prohibit my soul on airplanes. Boo. What is Batman's guilty pleasure? Squirrel Girl! Fuck off. It's not a good superhero. Why isn't Squirrel Girl a good superhero? Because it's a girl that can talk to squirrels. There's no... Yeah, but what happened? What happened? No, 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 no. What would happen if you were able to control all squirrels? What would you be able to do? Probably have to crawl up my ass. <laughs> Did you know you can fit a whole raccoon up your asshole? That sounds scary, disturbing, and disgusting. Because an average human asshole can, like, go eight inches without permanent damage. And <clears throat> raccoons can squeeze into four inch spaces. So you could technically stick two raccoons up your ass. Without permanent damage. Except it's a raccoon they would tear up my asshole. Kinky. What is Batman's guilty pleasure? Pooping in a laptop and closing it. Why do I hurt all over? A disappointing birthday party. Anal sex. Why do I hurt all over sex with animals? Squirrel Girl! A romantic candlelit dinner would be incomplete without how bad my daughter fucked up her dance recital. Imagine just like <laughs> dancing and some shit, you just on your period. And you're just like, you get like, you start dancing, you like put your foot up in the air and it's just blood. <laughs> It's like stained blood. Just saw this upsetting video. Please retweet Stop the Real Official Cafe. I'm kidding. It says Cards of Against Humanity. But you should probably stop us too. Fun tip. When your man asks you to go down on him, try bringing him 
Fry surprising him with a micro penis instead. Yeah, anal <laughs> sex. <laughs> Last field trip was completely ruined by strong female characters. Squirrel girl. I'm not saying that. She is a strong female character. She's a girl that can talk to squirrels. She Thanos. I am not letting this die. Squirrel girl is the worst idea for a superhero since Iron Man. How are you going to fit it inside a squirrel? You're not talking sense. How though. do I fit it inside my cat? What's a girl's best friend? Anal sex. What's a girl's best friend? Hospice care. What's hospice care? Is that just hospital care? Dear Abby, I'm having some trouble with getting married, having a few kids, buying some stuff, retiring to Florida, and dying, and would like your advice. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does. Dear Abby, I'm having some trouble with selling crack to children, and would like your advice. That's because you don't sell to children. You sell it to the people who already know they want crack. When I am president, I will create the department of accepting the way things are. Never gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Why are my parents hiding for me? Never much we twenty dollars to buy. What never fails to liven up the party? Catapults! Hell yeah. I mean like yeah. Kind of. What never fails to liven up the party? How amazing it is to be on mushrooms! It's like the Super Mario's. What made my first kiss so awkward? Ronald Reagan! Blank. It's a trap. Pictures of boobs. It's a trap. They're men. I meant to hit you. Where'd that go? Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be a so crappy throw. Not an actual... Where'd it go? <laughs> Get the top of the shelf. Oh no. I didn't mean to throw it that hard. I think it's behind here. I think I got to go behind here. Oh sure. my god. Oh, it's right here. Good. <laughs> I, I wasn't supposed to be a throw. Like, it was supposed to be like a kind of a half throw. Like, kind of, you know, like that. But okay. it just... <laughs> and now, the finale card of our Cards Against Humanity New Year's Eve, or New Year's You don't get to know because we're done recording. Woo! Yeah. <laughs>